Well, sure, he plays the infamous Gomez on Breaking Bad, but did you know that Stephen Michael Casada is quite the comedian? You're very funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how I made my living for a long time. That's right. Uh, yeah, no, nobody ever goes right into acting and becomes, you know, uh, successful. So yeah, you're telling me. There's, <laughs> I know. There's, there's other ways that you have to go about it sometimes. And sure. So I went about it the comic way mm -hmm. and was very fortunate, you know, to tour for a long time and do, you know, HBO, Showtime, yes. and some of the bigger Latino shows and um, I was able to you know feed myself <laughs> yes well I think the the really interesting thing about people who are not in the entertainment business that might not realize is that the best format to really get your skills honed is stand-up comedy because when you have to get on a stage and make people laugh I don't think there's anything more difficult than that I really don't. Well, raising teenage daughters. Oh, but other, yeah, you have a couple of those, don't I you? I do, yeah, yeah, a few of those, yeah. <laughs> what do you have, four kids? We have four kids, That's yeah. right. And so, um, so with that, uh, comedy's a little easier than that. <laughs> Good to but know. because of that, I have great material to talk about. I would, I would guess that that gives you all of the fun things to talk about it, every day. It does, you know, because it, anybody who knows me as a comic or has mm -hmm. gone seen my comedy yes. knows that I use, you know, my family, who I am, being Latino, uh, being where I grew up, mm -hmm. you know, because Here. it's funny, you know, people think that because you're on TV that automatically you grew up you know, with money or you have some right. connection to money and that the industry is about money. Mm -hmm. And it was about love for me. I mean, yeah. you have to really love what you're doing. Absolutely. And then that, I think success comes from that. And so yeah. we came growing up with, uh, I come from a large family. Yes. And so uh, the way I cook is... I guess based on that, okay. but it's comfort food for us, and now oh, it's sure. comfort food for my family, and so we pass down, you know, all the way we cook. And we don't know if we cook things right. But people <laughs> people okay. might look at me and go, "What is this guy doing?" But what is right? I mean, in, in all honesty, know. it's kind of the same thing as entertaining. There is no right or wrong. It's just it is what it is, and as long as it produces the good result and people like it, then who cares how you do it? That's right. Uh, you know, the only thing that I'm adamant about these days is organic. Okay. You know? So yes. we're using I, a lot I of like that too. organic uh, potatoes, organic. Okay. Meat, well, what know, have you anything. done so far? Okay, so what I did is I got the hamburger meat and I browned that okay. because that's what you're supposed to do. Okay, you guys, yes. don't throw in raw meat and think the water's gonna cook it because it's not gonna cook it. You gotta cook it first. It doesn't sound good. It though, doesn't. Right? It mm -hmm. doesn't. And so I use corn in my green chili stew. Ooh. And so I put the corn in with the meat, and okay. so you know I kind of cook the corn a little bit. Uh, and you can use fresh corn if you want, or a can of corn. Okay. Organic is better for me, and so. Uh, and then I chop the potatoes. I put, you know, a about that much garlic okay. on Ooh, it, or I you can use, garlic. or you can use garlic salt, you know, because then really? you have salt and garlic at the same time. Okay. It's easier and it tastes good. Okay. It still has a good what taste about, to it. What about if you just use that garlic? Would you still want to use salt? Yeah, you right? need to use salt. Okay. I mean, I do. I have to I salt, salt my food. Yeah, I'm a big salt Me freak, too. and you know, you can use sea salt if you want it to be more oh. healthy. Okay. Instead of regular salt. Easy. You know, and then I do use bouillon. Uh, oh. Beef bouillon beef in my bouillon. green okay. green chili stew because okay. it gives it some flavor. It gives it the meat flavor, sure. you know. Sure. And I have been using the the um, Bueno Autumn Roast Green Chili mm. because it has a better bite to it. Does it? It's okay. not quite hatch green chili. Okay. And so when you run out of hatch green chili because it doesn't last all season long, right, right. I think it's it's this is the best choice to make. This is what we prefer. Okay. Because it's close. It's got a good little bite to it, and it almost has the hatch green chili flavor to it. Okay, so that's important. So once they came out with this product, this is the good product. Good to know. Really I'll be like. buying that later today then. Yeah, this is the good stuff. Especially and I, I, this season. Well, there's an extra one here for you. Oh, so yay. So you can take this home because I only I'm use one on, the on a pot of green chili stew. Okay, and that's so all now, you need? Just one? That's one. Just one. That's Great. all I've been using. You know? Okay. And, you know, and you chop up a few potatoes uh, yeah. and, you know, and I don't know, you're probably single, so you probably cook for yes, yourself at I do this cook, point. I do cook a lot for myself, and uh -huh. I really want to get more on a health kick. We were talking about that with the new year. Yeah. And to me, especially this time of year when it's so cold, this is the perfect meal. This is perfect. You know, you could cook it, and, you know, it'll last a few days, you right. know. Uh, my mom's funny because she's in her 70s now, okay. and she'll cook stuff and freeze it now. She's, oh. Because she can't help but cook a lot for that. a big family, yes. but there's no one there but her and my grandmother oh. now. And so what she does is she still cooks the same way, but then she takes it and puts it in the, the baggies and freezes it. Right, right. And so she can pull it out for her and my grandmother when she's whenever she's ready. That's so that'd be a good idea for you, too, you know. That's 
That's so a great cook. idea. So once you've cooked, you've already spent your time doing it, and then uh -huh. you save your time in the week because I know you're a busy person. You think? Just a little bit, Just yes. a little bit. Just a little. Yeah. Not, I don't know if I'm as busy as you, though. You're doing the after-party. After I am doing the after-after party, yeah, on the CW. Yeah, tell um, us a little bit about that. Well, that's we're... my new Can late... I stir this Yeah, that's my, my new late night. I'm going to put some water here in a minute, but I still like to cook it. Okay. Uh, my new late night talk show on the CW is called the after-after party. It's a great I have show. great comedians and mm -hmm. great music and great guests. Yes. Uh, if anyone's interested in seeing a live taping, yes. we're going to be taping uh, next Tuesday, which is the 11th, and I'm going to have Brian Cranston as a guest, Aaron Paul as a guest. Mm -hmm. You know, wow. Michael Stusky is a guy. Michael Stusky is that guy who paints those big giant murals in six minutes, oh. like on Leno and Letterman yes, and all you're that. you're having him on? He's oh, going to be fun. on. He's going to do a big mural of Brian Cranston. And, we have and to get them all in the kitchen with you, too. We, yeah, we want to bring him on your show, and we want you on my show. You yes. need to come and be on my show oh, and do a little after-after after party with I us. love it. You know, I have the James Douglas show, six-time Grammy-nominated band. Fabulous. I mean, it's it's taking off. It's huge. It's so fun to be at a live taping. If you haven't ever been to a live taping on a television show, this is the show for you. Well, I, yeah, and I'm sure with your humor, you will definitely uh, pump it up. I will. I, you call it Homiewood, right? I do, I Homiewood. Call, I call it Homiewood because this is where the homies are making money. <laughs> I like and it. now you're a homie now. I'm a homie now. <laughs> Wait, and where does the show tape for people that want to come to the It's at TV? the Wool Warehouse, uh, first in Roma. Okay. And we start at 7 o'clock. Perfect. And then we kind of close the doors. You know how a, a studio audience has to be. We have to kind of control of what's course, happening because yes. we're, we're shooting. Okay. Uh, and um, it is the funnest show. Our audience has grown and grown That's and grown fabulous. and grown. And so if you want to go, you're invited to go. Cool. Cool. This point and once it gets crazy then we'll have to start putting tickets out okay you know, i like so do it point, now yeah but at this do point it it's not too crazy so we can still control it and so we don't have to really put tickets out um yeah. i've got silver coming in from denver who's a funny funny comic <laughs> Funny well, guy. you know, I mean, you've been on the circuit. You know the funny people. I so do. you're not going to have, I mean, it, I, right there, you give validity to the people you have on mm -hmm. your show because yeah. you know who's good and who's not. And what you were saying earlier was interesting mm -hmm. is that you give people a chance to be funny. So I yeah, like And it. if you don't, if you want to check it out first, go to my website, www.theafteraftparty.com. You can check out an old episode. Okay. We, we show one of the, the latest, the last one that we aired uh -huh. uh, on the website. Perfect. And you can check out who the guests are and who's coming, and that's how you can get your and information. you can also get the recipe, of course, to the green chili stew on our website at casa.com. That will be up all, you know, forever. We're not getting rid of that. People will want it. We're going to add some water now. I am. I'm going to put some water in And then in what now. we'll do is after the break... We get to try it. That's my favorite part. That's right. Now we'll, we'll crank it up so we can boil this. Yes. All right. I How's that looking? How's looking that smelling? Good. It smells so good. And I always <laughs> say, I always say to people, I feel so guilty because not only do I get to eat it, but I get to smell it. And that's such a key factor, especially with something it like is. green chili. You wish is. you could smell it through the TV. You oh, say the smell of vision, right? Yeah. But this <laughs> tastes so good. And it's really simple. It is. It was so easy. You did it during like, the show. Wow. You could see. We started the show. He came out here. He started in the middle. And look, we're almost ready to eat it. And we will be eating it right after the break. Thank you so much sure. for cooking with us, Stephen Michael You're Casada. welcome. Thank you for having me. It's nice to have a cop in the kitchen. It we is. like it. We'll it be is. right back All after right. the break. <laughs>